am today's designated old person. To, here, here. <laughs> to tell you why I give to St. Francis. And that's a good thing, for I've entered many a church over the years. I walked into St. Francis in the spring of 2021, and let me tell you, I had never experienced such a warm welcome as here. Some of you may remember how I spent my first year here letting you know how different St. Francis is. There is such a wonderful vibe in these walls for this congregation lives love and caring for all. St. Francis loved and supported David into becoming a deacon. From Deacon David, we hear thoughtful sermons with ideas from more recent scholars like Margus Borg. Deep, meaningful sermons which challenge me to think about how I live my life is vital to my worship experience. Our favorite vicar mm -hmm. chose to use Will Gaffney's Womanist Lectionary during Lent last year. In those readings and sermons based on them, I believe I got a glimpse of the future of the church, for God is calling the church into a different future, and St. Francis is doing its part to live into that future. The adoption and expansion of wired worship and programming allows those on the outside to come inside and glimpse our theology and liturgy. And I get so super excited at how St. Francis serves the community, our neighbors. Our clergy empowers the laity to do that ministry. My first experience of my ministry here was taking photos for social media businesses personally receiving thank you notes from Reverend Laurie and Donna for participating in the appreciation days. And a smattering of our serving is Eureka Elementary Snacks, the monthly meal ministry, prayer shawls, curtains for Wyman's windows, Kathleen McDonald Scholarship Fund at Pacific High School, and so many, many more. Love, service, love, worship serve. The congregation of St. Francis not only believes those words, but lives them. That's why I give to St. Francis.